Hey everybody, welcome back to Mike's Wooden Things and Stuff. Today we're going to do something that I probably should have done quite some time ago. We are going to unbox and install my new Wolverine sharpening jig system on my grinder. Uh, this sharpening system is from One Way. I have no affiliation with this company whatsoever. I have purchased this full price with my own money from Lee Valley and it has been sitting in the corner of my shop in its Lee Valley shipping box for let's not talk about how long it's been sitting in the corner of my shop waiting for me to get it installed. Let's crack it open, have a look at it and see if we can figure out how to hook it up under my grinder so that we can have ourselves the ultimate, we can turn our grinder into the ultimate sharpening tool. <laughs> That's the theory. Let's go. Okay, like I said, uh, this has been in the shipping box for a long time. I have not even, I took it out of the shipping box. I haven't even opened the box that the jig actually comes in. So let's have a look at what we get. We get instructions. Those are probably gonna be necessary. We get some little bracket things that hopefully the instructions talk about. Uh, we, get a <laughs> we get an instructional DVD. I'm not sure I even have anything to play that on. Uh, we got this guy, one of the tool guys. Okay, this, this is what I'm actually looking for. What I'm actually looking for is to be able to get a consistent grind on my turning tools. And this is going to be the key to doing that. These are going to mount underneath the grinder for this to sit in. Uh, and also this. I suppose we got a locking knob of some kind. We got a few bolts. We have some more things underneath, maybe. That looks like a normal tool rest. And a couple more little uh, brackety things. So let's have a quick read of the instruction manual. I'm not gonna watch the instructional DVD. I'm gonna have a quick cursory glance at this and see if I can uh, get this thing installed under my grinder. My grinder is currently on a platform that I'll show you. Actually, I'll bring it over to the bench and uh, see if we can't get this thing rigged up. Okay, this seems relatively straightforward, actually. It shouldn't be that big a problem to get this thing, you know, I've. I've said things like that before though. Uh, the first couple of problems that I've noticed is that with my particular grinder, the center of the wheel, the grinder wheel, from what it's sitting on, needs to be between six and a quarter and six and a half inches off the base. Uh, and my grinder wheel's center sits uh, just under five and a half, uh, which is also a problem because I don't know if this is why, it needs to be between six and a, half, a quarter and six and a half. But these that need to be under each wheel don't go under the wheel if it's this low. So I have to start this process by building a base for the grinder to sit on to sit on the base that the grinder sits on, if that makes any sense. I gotta raise the grinder up off the base about three quarters of an inch. Thankfully, I have a piece of three quarter inch plywood right there, ready on my table saw, uh, ready to do this operation. So I'm gonna make a little, a little sub platform to sit on my platform under my grinder to get that raised up so that that'll go under there. And it'll be at the right height according to the instructions, which we are actually following. All right, so I've got my, we'll call it a riser block. 
That's what it will. That's what we'll call it. Got my riser block cut, sanded the edges a little bit, broke them over. I don't just because that's what I do. Uh, and I'm reading along, and these bases need to be at most a half an inch back from the front of whatever they're sitting on to avoid obstructing things. So I'm gonna set a square for about five eighths of an inch. And that is how far back on my block I am going to install my riser block so that once I get that on, I know that that is the also going to be the front of these dealies. So let's get our riser block installed. We'll get our grinder mounted to our riser block, mounted to our platform. I think what I'm going to do, because this is pre-finished plywood, I'm not going to sand it down so I get fresh wood, so I get good wood-to-wood -wood contact. I'm just going to give this a quick scuff. I'm going to go with the handy dandy Starbond CA glue. This is the thick version. There is a link down in the description to a, a discount code and affiliate link for this. You can go order yourself some Starbond. Thank you very much, Starbond, for helping out the channel. They do not pay me to say th nice things about them. They do supply me with glue. And when people use my reference uh, link, I do get a percentage. It doesn't cost you guys any more, but I do get a percentage sort of kickback from them. So if you need some really good cyanoacrylate glue, I don't know why I'm trying to center this per block on here. It doesn't need to be, but aesthetically, I like things to be balance, balance, matchy, matchy. At least approximately. Maybe, maybe more than approximately. We go. That's about centered side to side. We make a quick mark with a pencil that I lost because this is what we do. We lose pencils that we just had a second ago. About, about there. And then I'm going to use this square to get it squared up to the front. I'm going to do another little tick over here. Give me. And we're just going to. This isn't going to take a lot of glue. This stuff is really good. That's all it's going to need. Go in there. Let that sit for a minute. So now that I've got my riser block where I'm going to want the front of these things to be, the front of these things also needs to be lined up with the front of my grinding wheels. So I need to line my grinder up. I'm just going to eyeball it because I think, I assume that that's going to be good enough. Mm -hmm. You know, we assume things. We all know what happens when we assume things. But I'm going to line the front of my wheels up with the front of this. That's pretty good. That's pretty good there. And now I'm going to lock my grinder down to my riser block right there. Then I can get these into position. And then I'm pretty much done. Theoretically. Now to figure out how to lock this down to here without moving it now. Okay. Uh, the easiest the easiest way to do this is just more star bomb. I got a little rubber feet. 
on the bottom of this. I'm just gonna get in there and just star bond around them. <laughs> and if I ever need to get it off of here, I'll figure that out. That's future Mike's problem. That's absolutely future Mike's problem. <laughs> this is not probably how you're supposed to do this. But I don't really feel like messing around with trying to figure out where that bolt hole is in the grinder and then coming up from underneath and like recessing the bolt head underneath the platform when I can just squidge some starboard onto the feet and lock everything down good enough. If future Mike turns out that future Mike has a problem, he can deal with whatever that problem is. Present Mike thinks that this is going to be a good enough solution. <laughs> Okay, quick interruption from future Mike here. Uh, star bonding around the rubber feet to uh, secure it to the base, not past Mike's best idea. I think it would have been fine. I still think it would have been fine if I would have just been able to leave it set up here in the shop in its spot. But I did have to transport it down to the studio that I teach classes at a couple of times and moving it in and out of the truck, uh, it did break free of its star bond. So I have since gone back in and bolted this bad boy down to its platform. Back to pass mic. Take it away. So now the last thing I have to do is get these bases locked down to my base base, not my sub base, my base, not my riser block. And to do that, I need to line up the middle of these diamonds with the middle of my wheels. So I'm just gonna kind of set up a square in front well, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to find my pencil that was around here a second ago. And I'm just going to mark on the middle of my wheel a little line. Eh, it's not quite the middle. There we go. I'm going to set up a square in front and then eyeball that diamond to be there. Make a little pencil mark on the side of the bracket. Then we're going to go back, make sure I didn't mess with anything in terms of alignment. That still looks good. That still looks good. So I'm a little dab of star bond right there and at the back. Just to lock it down so that I don't accidentally shift it when I'm putting the screws in. Do the same with that one. All right, there we go. Should be theoretically all ready to go. I put my regular tool rest guy in on this side. I will use this side for my long V dealy. That's gonna go in there so that I can get my bowl gouges and things. Rest them in there. Get them on there consistently. Lock that in on where I want the bevel to be. That actually looks pretty good right there. Let's uh, let's do a quick sharpen with it. Let's spin it up. This is my DMT 180 grit diamond sharpening stone.
I'm actually regrinding the primary bevel at this point, so I'm not up at the tip just quite yet. But yeah, this is going to be awesome. There we go. I'm going to sharpen more often. This is, this is going to help me sharpen more often, be sharper more often for more of my cuts. Uh, I'm happy about that. That's the Wolverine sharpening jig. I also, while I was buying that, I did get the Veragrind uh, accessory for it as well. I don't know if I'm going to launch straight into this one or if I'm going to just go with this for a little while before I get into this one. I don't know, let me know down in the comments if you think I should jump straight into the Vera grinding, what is it? Yeah, the Vera grind accessory. If you like the, if you like the Vera grind, let me know. If you don't like the Vera grind, let me know. Stay happy, stay healthy, stay safe everybody. Thanks for watching me get this thing set up finally. It's about damn time. That's all for now. I'm going to be more sharp more often, and that's a good thing. See you later.